Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm Built and Chris Built on a jeweler from London. Now I'm living in Japan making YouTube jewelry making instructional videos. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to me, why not hit like and subscribe? Pound shop. I went to one. Uh, or 100 yen shop. Ihyaku yen. Uh, there's a famous one in this area called Daiso. I don't know if it's all Japan, but it's certainly a few of them around here. Daiso. And they're actually quite good. They're actually better quality than a pound shop, even though 100 yen is a lot less than a pound. Uh, so I found these little mini, um, little felt polishing buffs things. And I used to use these a lot when polishing platinum. This is a ring I've been making, that's why I haven't uploaded for a, a week, because I've been doing this. Um, but yeah, this is an old one, this is wearing out, that's why I thought it was great to buy these. Um, really useful, like say this is not polished or you need to uh, get it polished there. I used to sharpen these felt little wheels on a, like, stone, knife sharpening stone. And then uh, you can just skim the side of it, and it was really useful. And you can you got a lot of control um, for for really detailed polishing in an exact spot. It was really good because if you try and hit all that with the polishing like mop, you can do it, but you are hitting edges and other like corners and stuff, and you're rounding bits off. This was really precise, so I like using these. And this is the only one I got. It's worn out, so uh, if, the, if these are good, that'll be very useful. Because most things you can buy in Japan, even from the pound shops, they're good value for money. Like in England, my experience is if you pay a cheap price, you've got to buy it again. So buy cheap, buy twice is a phrase uh, we use quite a lot over there. Uh, in Japan, it's all Spanish on the back. It's obviously made in Spain. Uso con el mini ranurado. That must just mean motor. Uh, que puede utilizar el diámetro 2.34 mil. So that's all I needed. That dos 2.34. So that means it will fit in there. So that was a that was my green light to buy them. So in Japan, uh, even like pound shop kind of stuff, generally quite good quality. Japanese people they don't like bad quality, even though there are varying levels of quality of anything you can buy. Uh, like compared to England, like the complete junk they sell in pound shops, it's uh, you won't find stuff that bad over here. So if it's for sale in Japan, there's a chance it's gonna be kind of good, but we'll see. It's always fun to like test this kind of stuff out uh, compared to this was a, a proper one from a jewelry tool supplier, so it'll be fun to compare that to this one. My first, my first initial impressions is that felt looks a bit too soft, but let's see. So let's open this up, and uh, if they work, I'll show you. I'll show you how I use them because uh, I recommend you get these. Not necessarily from a pound shop, but uh, if you can buy them, that feel alright. It's quite hard. It's just a bit fluffy because it's new. Okay, so goes in there quite nicely. The measurements were fine. Uh, the metal. This is one. This is a Brucey bonus top tip for you. Pound shop tools like spanners. Uh, they're made in China or wherever, and they're really heavily plated to make them look shiny and expensive, but they're not. And that plating actually changes the, the measurements of them. So you might have a, like a 10 mil spanner, and it won't fit on a 10 mil nut because the plating is so thick on there. So watch out for that. Like this, I looked to see how what that surface looked like. If it was really like mirror and really bright chrome looking, there's a chance it would be too thick to go in there. Um, but it's not, it's fine. <laughs> so just look out for that if you're buying spanners. Like, don't buy really heavily plated ones. Now these, I don't... I just put my normal, like, triple E grease on there. Like, new tools like this tend to throw loads of bits at you. Um, but yeah, I just... I only use that grease on it. It's not like I have one for that polish and then another one for green and another one for red. And, like, no. Just, just doing the main grease polish with these and then uh, if I want to get this like mirror finish after without using the big polishing motor I would go to a soft white bristle brush with the green on. I don't really like red. Red rouge. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like using it because it gets really airborne yeah. It, like it just goes all over the room, it sticks to your skin, goes over your face and uh, it's really messy polish. Um, but it does brighten up silver like nothing else. So I'll use it as just, a, just to finish off silver pieces. It'll get really bright. 
but uh, mainly I just use this and then go to green and then yellow on platinum. Anyway, waffling on. All right, so this ring is already buffed quite nicely. Let me just get it with a smooth, worn out bit of my buff stick. See what it does. I'm gonna do it like this first and then I'll sharpen it. It's doing a good job. I like it. When these kind of things are new, they're not as good as when they're worn in a little bit, but um, so I'm cutting it some slack anyway, but it's totally working all right. The problem is a fluff going in my face. As far as I'm aware, you can't buy these in a knife, knife edge shape, like a kind of disc going to a blade. You might be able to, I haven't really looked to be honest, but I think I've always just got these and then either used them like this or sharpened them to how I need them. Now this stone, there isn't really a good bit on it, but let me see if I can do something with it. They ain't working. I'm opening the window because it's very fluffy in here. I should put a mask on. <laughs> yeah, this is not, not as good as this one. This one was like proper solid. This is just like a, like a felt tip, <laughs> a cheap pen or something. I don't know. It's not really going into a blade very nicely. So it's not going to work how I want it to. Let's see if I can sharpen it up a little bit. Once, it, once it's loaded up with grease, polish, it might be all right. Oh, this fluff has gone everywhere. See if I can just use it and it might just uh, nicely wear into the shape I want. So exactly this kind of scenario, I want to get polish right in there and the polishing mop, you can push it in there, but there's a risk of it blunting all your nice sharp edges. This ain't sharp. Still not going in there. But it is polishing. If you've got a ring like this with a straight edge of a collet sticking out the side, in there is really important. You, I mean, really, if I was making that for a proper finished piece of jewelry, I would get it have both that collet polished and the shank polished before it went together. So it makes life a lot easier rather than trying to polish it like this now. But yeah, in there, if you if you're unfortunate, you end up with a file mark in there. Very difficult to polish it out because you can only really buff it that way and then you can only really polish it with bristle brushes that way so very difficult to get lines out so if you have got a line get a well anyway somewhere get a square section needle file wrap your fine grades of paper around it and then do it that way if you're working in platinum it can be really difficult to get that bit nice and polished uh, but yeah and then hitting it with this probably not ideal because there's not enough room to move it up and down sideways. So there's a danger of putting a dip in it. You're just holding it at one spot and spinning it on that, so. Okay, just a quick little video. I really wanted to test out these cheap tools because uh, I was hoping, I kind of knew they wouldn't be as good, but uh, I was hoping I'd be able to sharpen them and replace this, but I'm just gonna have to buy a proper jeweler's one, I guess. So uh, yeah, the old sayings go of um, buy cheap, buy twice, get what you pay for and all that. They're still ringing very true. Uh, never mind. Right, uh, I got a new patron, a new supporter patron. Thank you very much. Um, Maya or Maria. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name correctly. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for your patronship. Uh, it's really encouraging and uh, I really appreciate all the support I'm getting and uh, all, the, all the kind comments and everything on the channel. It's really encouraging and gives me, gives me energy to do more for you. So as usual, I've got a lot of ideas and not enough time to do them all, but I always feel like it's a backlog of stuff, but 
it's better to be that way than, than having loads of time and no ideas to actually create stuff. So if you'd like to become a patron to the channel, I will put a link in the description. Just click on that, it takes you to the Patreon page and then you can choose your tier. First one is supporter, it's just one pound a month and then it's five pound a month and then that uh, enables you to watch all these uh, YouTube videos two weeks before anybody else. And there's a few other benefits as well. Uh, and then there's classic, uh, you can, there's a classic tier where there's lots of exclusive footage as well that are making a lot of stuff only for those patrons that are, that are classic patrons. If you're interested, big fat full eternity ring I'm making at the moment. Uh, this was a ring I made a full instructional guide over last week and it's not going to be on the channel I'm afraid. It's only for the Guild of Jewellery Designers gold members. So if you want to check them out and get access to find out how I made this. It's a two hour long guide and a really in-depth video on everything. All the techniques, all the tools, exactly how I did it. Lots of video footage of me making it. So leaves no stones unturned like you can have quite a beginner to in intermediate level understanding and experience of making jewelry and then i'm sure just with that small foundation of skill you could create something like that um, with video guide i wish i had video guides when i was learning like the first few years of my my endeavor to learn jewelry it would have been so so helpful like a real fast forward in your skill so um yeah, I really hope my videos will come in useful to other people. But yeah, as for this ring specifically, you're gonna have to be a, a gold member of the uh, Guild of Jewelry Designers. So check them out. There's loads of benefits as well. That's a good good place to be a member of. So yeah, check them out, certainly. I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. See you next time, bye.